Hello guys. In this video, we will see the organic preparation. It is the theoretical explanation of the organic preparation. The aim of this uh, practical or experiment is the preparation of paranitroacetanilide from the acetanilide. So the product is paranitroacetanilide, whereas the reactant is acetanilide. For this preparation, we require a apparatus such as conical flask, bath of freezing mixture or test tubes. This freezing mixture, it is prepared by adding ice and salt together. They lower down the temperature below 0 degrees Celsius. Along with this, we require a chemicals like uh, glacial acetic acid, concentrated nitric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid. From the aim, it is clear that it is the nitration reaction. For that purpose, we require a nitrating mixture. A nitrating mixture is nothing but the combination of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. So, in this video, we will see a electrophilic substitution reaction that is a nitration. Now see the chemical reaction. Here acetanilide is converted into the paranitroacetanilide in which one of the hydrogen which is present on the para carbon to this uh, NHCOCH3 group, this hydrogen is replaced by nitro group. Therefore, it is an electrophilic substitution reaction. Now, when acetanilide is treated with the combination of nitric acid and sulfuric acid, that is nitrating mixture, it gives corresponding para nitro acetanilide. In this reaction, the heat is evolved. It means that it is the exothermic reaction. For that purpose, we need a freezing mixture that lowers down the temperature of this reaction and we get a good yield of para nitro acetanilide. Now we will see the procedure how the para nitro acetanilide is prepared from the acetanilide. See the pictorial representation of the procedure. Here it is the acetanilide which is having a shiny crystals, acetic acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, nitric acid, test tubes. It is the conical flask and this is the bath of uh, freezing mixture which contains a combination of ice plus salt and here a beaker containing ice cold water. Now we will see the actual procedure, how the reaction occurs. First of all, the acetanilide is taken into the conical flask and the amount is a 5 gram. In this conical flask along with this acetanilide, uh, acetic acid is added. This is the glacial acetic acid and the amount is a 10 ml. Glacial acetic acid, it means that it contains a water less than 1%. And the acetic acid that we are using in the laboratory, that is um, regular or normal acetic acid, it contains a water more than 1%. Along with this, a concentrated sulfuric acid is added about a 10 ml. So, this plus contain a 5 gram acetanilide, 10 ml acetic acid and 10 ml sulfuric acid. Then, this conical flask, it is kept in a freezing mixture or a freezing bath. Now, in the test tube, a 5 ml nitric acid is taken along with the 3 ml sulfuric acid. It is the nitrating mixture. So, the nitrating mixture has a composition that is 5 ml nitric acid and 3 ml sulfuric acid. Then, the nitrating, nitrating mixture from this test tube is added slowly to this conical flask which is kept in a freezing mixture. When this nitrating mixture is added to this conical flask, 
the exothermic reaction occurs and the temperature goes on increasing that's why this flask is kept in a freezing mixture that will lowers the temperature and we get a finest product if we are not using here a freezing mixture then what happens whatever the product which is formed it will decompose rapidly or there is a decomposition of reactant occurs that's why to avoid the decomposition of the product as well as reactant we have to keep the conical flask into the freezing mixture then after the completion of addition of uh, nitrating mixture from this test tube this conical flask it is uh, removed from this uh, freezing mixture then it is kept at a room temperature for 1 hour and after 1 hour the content which is present or the mixture that is reaction mixture we may call it as a this content it is transferred to the ice cold water which is present in the beaker so the content is poured in a ice cold water as soon as the content is transferred to the ice cold water there is a formation of yellow solid in this water occurs it is nothing but the para nitro acetanilide so after the pouring of this content into the ice cold water here we get a yellow solid this solid it is a uh, filtered then it is washed with the water and dry so after drying we get a crude para nitro acetanilide suppose the weight of this crude product it is about uh, say 5.4 gram then this crude product it is recrystallized from the ethanol and the pure product which is obtained it is taken for melting point determination so the melting point of this uh, product it is say uh, 215 degree celsius it is the observed melting point that we have taken in this practical so the amount is 5.4 and the melting point is 215 degree celsius again i am repeating this procedure see here conical flask contain 5 g acetanilide 10 ml acetic acid 10 ml sulfuric acid then this conical flask is kept in a freezing mixture the test tube contains nitrating mixture that is 5 ml nitric acid and 3 ml sulfuric acid this nitrating mixture is slowly added to the conical flask here the exothermic reaction occurs but as we have used here a freezing mixture the exothermic reaction doesn't affect on the product formation and the when addition is complete that is after the addition of nitrating mixture we have to remove this conical flask from the freezing mixture and we have to keep or we have to keep this uh, conical flask at a room temperature for 1 hour after 1 hour the content in the conical flask is transferred to the ice cold water here we get a yellow solid it is filtered then washed with the water and it is dried so that we get a crude product then this crude product is recrystallized from the ethanol and we get a melting point of this recrystallized product that is 215 degrees celsius so this is the simple procedure for the preparation of para nitro acetanilide from acetanilide now we will see the results in a result first is the weight of the product weight of the product that we have taken it is 5.4 g now it is written in the kilogram that is 5.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 and the second result is the melting point of the product we have taken a 215 degree celsius and when it is converted into the degree kelvin it is found to be a uh, 488 degree kelvin in this way 
we can write the result that is weight of the product 5.4 gram and melting point of the product that is 215 degree celsius so this is all about the preparation of para nitroacetanilide from the acetanilide and in this procedure we have to keep in mind as it is the exothermic reaction we have to use a freezing mixture so that we get a pure product or very fine product in this preparation with this we will stop here and in the next video we will see a second preparation that is a preparation of a thalamide from thalic anhydride